Hi, I'm Mike from Rigid and I'm going to run through now how to get the most out of the ST305 line transmitter. First choice should always be direct connection. So to make a direct connection, we take the earth spike, place that in the ground, and we're going to light a lamp column here, street lighting column. Place one of the leads on the column itself, and the other lead to the ground spike, and we're going to use the earth path of the light column to make a circuit. So we'll turn the generator on. And if it beeps, we know we've got a circuit. The second choice for connection would be using the induction clamp. So the induction clamp plugs in to the side of the ST305 generator using the quarter inch plug. We then take the clamp and put the clamp around a conductor. It goes to ground somewhere so that there's a return path back to the clamp and we can make a circuit. Switch the generator on and the generator will automatically default to the higher frequency, in this case 33 kilohertz. And the second light will show that we are using an induction method. On the clamp, there's two green lights. One shows that the clamp is closed and that there's a circuit made within the clamp. And then the second light shows that there's power to the clamp and it's getting, it's getting a signal through it. The third connection method you have is what we call surface induction. And this is where we use a coil that's inside the box to actually induce down into the ground and onto a cable or pipe. So with the unit turned on here, if we press this button on the end, that light comes on to show we're now using an induction method and the generator has automatically gone up to the higher frequency of 33 kilohertz. And all we simply do is if we believe there's a cable or pipe on the ground below, we lay the box down in line here with the, the lines on the, uh, on the side of the unit, in line with where we, we imagine the cable or pipe lies. And what we do now is putting signal down into the ground to induce onto the cable or pipe. So the ST305 generator um, has three frequencies and three power output levels. So we just turn it on and it will default to whatever the last setting was. So let's look at frequency. We've got 1 kilohertz, 8 kilohertz and 33 kilohertz. And if you just press the button here below the frequency, it cycles through those three. Why three frequencies? Well, lower frequency um, runs and runs. So imagine a, a cable and you've made a direct connection. If you do that with the generator at a low frequency, that signal is going to run and run and run. Um, the higher the frequency, the more it's going to sort of run out of steam, but you would use high frequencies for things like uh, induction connections. So when you're using the clamp or using the coils that are in the, the, um, the generator itself, um, that's when you would use higher frequency. Higher frequency tends to be more, um, have more energy to, to bounce around as well. So that's always one consideration. The higher you go up in the frequency, the more chance you, you have of what we call um, cross connection. We also have multiple power. So a brief press of the power key will step through three power levels from low, medium and high. Um, simply putting, putting the, the generator on high power, it's gonna run the batteries down quicker. Um, so if you can use a lower power output, use the lower output. You might need more power for a bigger obstacle, a bigger conductor. So um, a large pipe that's uh, in the ground that's going to leach a lot of signal. So um, you might want to up the power level when it's a big pipe leaching signal back to the, uh, back to the generator. So that's the three outputs and that's the three frequencies. Um, and they're all on the, uh, the rigid ST305 transmitter.